Um, I, I went to uh, Sunday school from about the age of five till I was about nine. And um, I, I fell for it. Um, I think it's because Sunday school and this thing was such a, an attractive prospect to a kid because you know anything. I mean, as long as you say, I believe in God, you can play table tennis all day. Do you know what I mean? You go, God's brilliant, isn't he? He is brilliant. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Oh, I love the way he made everything in like a week. Um, <laughs> Vicar, what? Jesus is brilliant too. Can I have a Coke? Yeah. <laughs> and normal teachers, they wouldn't fall for that sort of shit. I, I, I got on a co with most teachers, that, except my, um, didn't get on with my PE teacher. Didn't get on with PE, obviously. And my PE teacher was a, oh, it was nasty, but Mr. Morris, his name was. And uh, if you forgot your football kit, he didn't make you play in your pants. Oh, no, he thought pants were unhygienic. He, he used to make you play with nothing on your bottom half. <laughs> I mean, it, it was firm but fair. It, it wasn't a hypocrite. He imposed the same rules on himself when he forgot his kit, so... No. <laughs> no, it was a, fair, very, very fair. He forgot his kit every week. I think it was a bit scuffed. <laughs> but, um, uh, silly, silly old sausage. Um, his catchphrase was, nice tackle boy. Um, <laughs> No, he did have a catchphrase. He used to say, you don't wash it like that, give it here. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dear. His house burnt down. Um, <laughs> but that's where my fascination with animals started at school. And I, I, did, I did well at school, but I, I felt that I just learned to pass exams as opposed to... I feel like I just want to get so much knowledge now. It must be a sign of age, but I just I want to know about everything, things I never cared about before. I've got digital TV and there's 72 channels, all shit, except I watch hours on end of the History Channel and Discovery Channel now, just back and forth, like six hour stints, History Channel, Discovery Channel, back and forth. Ask me anything about sharks and Nazis. <laughs> Not as bad as a lot of people make out. Um, Sharks, I mean, Nazis, horrible. Oh, 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 don't get me. Sharks, brilliant. Nazis, rubbish. But the shark's an amazing creature. It's got sense up its body. It can tell the slightest movement in water of a floundering fish through electrical impulse. It can zone in on that. Um, it's got good eyesight, contrary to popular belief. And it can taste and smell the slightest human secretion of like blood and sweat, one part in a billion from a mile away. A shark would have found Anne Frank like that. <laughs> Nazis, rubbish. <laughs> uh, no, no time for them, no time for them. Um, I've been to her house, it's tiny. I can't believe one of them didn't go, let's look upstairs today, you know what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck were they doing? OK, yes. Yeah, so, Sarge, Sarge, wait, what? What's that tapping noise? <laughs> hey, rats, move on. Oh. <laughs> she had time to write a novel, for Christ's sake. Well, it ends a bit abruptly, and no sequel, lazy. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not here. I'm not here to talk about war, and about, particularly not at this time, you know, and uh, we're to... Uh, not my favourite war, either, the Second World War, you know. Well, if you're asking, the Falklands. <laughs> People say it was a conflict, it was a war. Um, and it was... Uh, it's my favourite war, because it was a range war. What that means is that uh, the RG guns could fire nine kilometres, and our guns could fire 17. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres. <laughs> and they were falling into the sea, and we were shelling the shit out of them. <laughs> it's, it's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> and he's flayed like that, like that. And you're just steadily kicking in the bollocks. <laughs> What's it called? Malvinus! <laughs> What's it called? Um, that's why the Falcons is my favourite war. The little midget fellow. Uh, Vietnam, best soundtrack. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. First World War was good. You know, they say it was a great war. It wasn't great, it was good. I mean, no, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great. For me, the great has got to be perfect. It wasn't perfect. I like the bayonets and the mustard gas. I didn't like the poetry. That, ooh, that sort of a... Do you know what I mean? Brings a war down for me, poetry. <laughs> Ooh, it's the only time poetry isn't bent, but even so, let's keep it out of war. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's one poem that everyone goes on about because it's very poignant because the, the, the soldier uh, died writing it. And uh, I suppose it is quite poignant. It's called We Are the Dead. It goes, We are the dead, once we lived, felt the sun on our face, loved and were loved, 
and now we lie in Flanders fields. Be honest, if you'd had a gun in your hand instead of a pen, mate... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Put it down! Pick a gun up, you cunt! Look! Ah... <laughs> uh... <coughs> Let's have a game of football in no-man's land. Ah... Uh... Um, <laughs> Second World War was all, all right, but not uh, the ending. That, ooh, that tears a lot of people because uh, we say all, oh, you know, the A bomb. It's you know, atomic power's bad, but war's bad. But it ended a war, so you know, and it was invented by Einstein, essentially uh, atomic um, power. And he's brilliant, isn't he? So so bright. Um, <laughs> no, he, he said that uh, light could be dis described as discrete bundles of energies that when irradiated onto an unstable... What sort of cunt thinks like that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what turned Stephen Hawking's mental, too much thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure it's too much... Too, too much swatting can send you a little bit like him. I, d I don't know, but it's sort of like... The universe is expanding. Of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> now, take a day off. Go for a walk. Not a walk, but, I mean, go out... <laughs> no, I just... Open a window, at least just cut. Watch a bit of telly. Robot Wars is on. You like that? <laughs> just... I'm just... I don't... I'm not... I'm like, oh, don't have a go at Stephen Hawking. He's a genius. He's not genius. He's pretentious. <laughs> Born in Kent and talks in an American accent. Um... <laughs> oh. No more war. No more war on nasty things. Uh, animals have been used in war traditionally for, you know, forever. I mean, cavalry and uh, they used to send in dogs and goats to rip up the horse's underbelly in the 10th century and stuff. And uh, I was looking on the um, uh, US Navy website researching the show. and. Uh, Look at the personnel, and they've got in the U.S. Marines. It's absolutely true. They've got a 90-strong team of um, sea lions and dolphins, and they're trained to take these depth charges down and drop them under submarines and blow the. Sh isn't that incredible? I mean, they don't know what they're doing. They're doing it for a bit of fish, but it's still. <laughs> I mean, and I think mainly it's the dolphins that do all the dangerous stuff, and the sea lions are more for morale when they get back. Going, that was brilliant. <laughs> was, oh, was, oh. Well done. Let's go to. So go, what are you going to do tomorrow's? I, I would. I think I've got a bit of whooping cough coming on. So <laughs> you're, you're doing a brilliant job. Um, uh, I did a lot of research on the internet for this uh, lecture, and um, it is the greatest resource in the world. But it's it sort of clogged up with people doing homemade websites about themselves. I said, it's stuff like, "My name is Rupert. This is my cat." Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> here are my favourite Cure songs in order. I don't give a... Why are you... And there's trivia websites where people sort of go on there and add to them something they have to share with the world, like, I think we care. And uh, they credit themselves. Like, they must wake up in a cold sweat and go, oh, I must tell the world this. And this is a real one. Um, the peanut is not a nut, it is a lagoon. Phew! And I... 